Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another Pixel 6 video. As you know, I made a video yesterday outlining the steps you could take to make the fingerprint sensor on this phone faster. And so far, I have seen a noticeable difference in the responsiveness of this sensor. However, there are still a few things that Google needs to sort out in order to make it even better. Now, the very first thing is to make it always active. Now, on phones like the OnePlus 9 Pro and the S21 Ultra, the sensor is always active, even if the always on display is turned off, but that's not actually the case here. So if I go into the display settings and go into the lock screen and turn off the always on display, you'll see there is no outline of the sensor, which basically means it's not active. Now the only way to unlock the phone is to actually double tap it or to press the power button and then put my thumb on the fingerprint sensor. Now this is just adding a couple of extra steps into unlocking the phone, so Google definitely needs to address this. The other issue I've noticed is actually with the always on display. Now you can see there is the outline of the fingerprint sensor, so I know exactly where to place my thumb and unlock the phone. But if I lock the phone back again, you'll see the display sensor or the outline of the sensor is actually no longer there. Now the only way to get it back is double tap and then lock the phone and then it's back there. So I'm not sure why that is happening or if it's just happening to me, but if you do have a Pixel 6 or a Pixel 6 Pro and if it's happening to you, let me know in the comments down below. Now the only way to get the sensor back there permanently is to actually turn the battery saver mode on. I know right, the irony. Now you can see after having turned on the battery saver mode, the sensor is actually there and I can just place my thumb to unlock the phone and if I turn the battery saver off and then lock the phone it's there and if I lock it back again it's actually gone so I'm not sure why that's happening but like I said Google definitely needs to address this and the final thing that Google can do to make this phone even better or make the experience of unlocking the phone this better is to add face unlock now I know Google doesn't like to use the front camera for unlocking the phone because it's not as secure as they want it to be, but Google can definitely use some AI configuration to make it more secure. Perhaps they can use the front camera to de detect some sort of a movement or differentiate between the fact that it's a real person and not a photo. You kind of get what I mean. And if Google is able to address the following issues, that would be so damn amazing. Because like I said earlier, this is a great phone and it's giving companies like Samsung and OnePlus a run for their money and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it be sure to subscribe to support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one